A short little troubleshooting video, guys. First of all, this is what your fuse holder looks like if you watch the uh, the assembly instructions, which I hope you all did, even if you bought it assembled. It's good to know what's what. This is where your fuse holder is. It's underneath the bubble in the Falcon, but at any rate, I always say it looks like a red match pack. Um, if, if you have a situation where the bike isn't charging, okay, of course, the charger plugs in on this Excalibur. You can hear the door opening right there. Okay, if you can check the charger to see if, with a meter to see if it's putting out 54 volts, that's ideal. If you feel the charger's working, but the batteries are not getting a charge, first of all, you wanna make sure all the batteries are nice and tight. See, they put some glue on these. They just started this, so that's good. But you wanna make sure the terminals are good and tight. Of course, with the glue on there, they are. Um, that none of the wires are parted. You also want to make sure that as you were opening and closing, some people want to pull the batteries out to make it lighter to load. I think it's a bad idea. They do. Do they come out? Yes. Other companies, oh, you just take the batteries out. You do not want to be doing that here. A, it's hard. B, if you don't put all this back just right, like in my assembly video, you're going to booger something up. One of the things you may booger up is, see these two? That's the charge port. Okay, you want to make sure that in assembly or whatever that these two are connected. The third, the top one is is not, but these two indeed are. You got your red and your black. Of course, it goes to where red and black should go. But if one of these is disconnected, okay, well, then your charger, which goes over here, is not talking to the batteries because there's a break right there. You'll hear me talk about this. So you do want to be careful as you're putting these, if you are assembling or God forbid you're pulling these batteries out because you want to make it 20 pounds lighter, um, you do want to make sure that you're very careful when you're putting the components back not to accidentally break one of these. So be, be mindful of that. But this is one of the places I will point to that I want you to check for troubleshooting purposes if your scooter, your Excalibur, or your Raptor, or Falcon, it's the same principle, just a different type of connector, is not charging. First thing, check the charger. Secondly, check to make sure these are connected, okay? Now, another good troubleshooting tip. Is it the batteries or is it, what is it? If you plug the charger in, okay, and of course it's working and this is working and you, the bike does run, okay? But when you unplug the charger, the batteries go to dead and the bike won't run, then you have bad batteries. My point is this, the charger has enough power to move this bike. So a good way to troubleshoot whether that connection is good or not, if your bike isn't moving, is if you plug the charger in, does the bike run with the charger plugged in? Of course, you're not going, nor should you go far, but it will tell you, is it the batteries? That's a good way to check the batteries. If it runs with the charger plugged in, it'll move, but it won't move with the charger unplugged. It's probably your batteries, okay? Hope this helps.